Hi guys, thanks for joining me for this week's River Tutorial. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate your support. So what you see in the vise is my rendition of Davy Parker's Retire or Fly. So without further ado, let's get into it. The hook in the vise then is a Hanak H130 barbless hook. This one's at size 12, it's on a fine wire and it's in black nickel. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using today is from Fish On. It's the ultimate tine silk and as you can see it's an olive thread. Now first thing I'm going to do is get a spot of super glue onto the shank of the hook. As I always do with these uh, nano silks. I just think it beds it in better than wax. And I'm going to use my thread to spread that up the shank. Now, I've already got Davy Parker's Retirer fly on the channel. Now, the reason I'm doing it again is Howard Croston recently published a video. Uh, he wasn't very pleased that there was a load of variations out there. And he wanted to set the world right with the development of the fly and how it was tied. And, and I have obviously tied it wrong. So this is my reshow, if you like. So I'm just going to remove my waist. I've run my thread down just past the point. And so there was a, there was just one thing I think I got, well, there were a couple of things I got wrong, but uh, there was one thing that stood out to me and it was the, it was the shock of the, of the, um, the fly. And so what I'm using is some white poly yarn here. I'm just going to take a little bit off the card. Now, to get a taper into the poly yarn, simply grab a couple of strands, pull it out so you've not got that straight cut. And then you get that little taper. Now, for the, uh, the length of the shuck, I like to use the length more or less of the shank of the hook. So I'm going to catch that in like so. Uh, it is uh, even the version that I've got on on the, uh, the channel already and I'll stick a link up to that as well as Howard's video actually uh, because he ties the fly as well. Uh, I've, I've tied mine slightly different because we've got different styles of tying. But um, essentially it's the same fly. So I'll just give that a little twist and there's your shuck. So, um, I believe Herd used quite a light rabbit with some glint through it. I'm going to use some natural boosted from Trout Stalkers. I think it's a, a lovely dubbing and it's what I use on most of my retire type flies. So I'm just going to get that on. Nice and tight. And dress it up. Then I can bring it round. And I'm going to bring it up into the thorax area. Uh, leaving myself plenty of room at the front. Like so. And then the remainder of that dub in I can put. Now, the, the thing I missed when I, I did my version was you've got to use coastal deer hair. So I've got a little bit here. Um, I think I used elk in mine. But, you know, let's get it right. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of fibre from the, uh, the patch I've got here and before I tie it in I'm going to add the tiniest amount of wax to my thread. Just one. Just helps with tying in. Now this bit initially I want, again, just slightly past the body. So I'm going to catch that in just there. Don't worry about your waist, we're going to trim all that away in a sec. I'll get a couple of turns in front. Like so. 
So a little bit of coastal gear here. Now that's not going to keep your fly afloat by, by any stretch. So next, I, I like to use white aero wing for the part that came through the middle here. But what I would do is the aero wing on the last fly I tied, um, it was the first thing I tied in. But that's not correct. You, you needed to have um, this little bit of coastal deer here. So what I've got here is some aero wing. It's in grey. I know it's a bit of a mess and I've lost the packet. I've uh, not used it for a long time. But I'm going to take a little bit off of that card. I'm going to fold it in half. Like so. And I'm going to remove over my waist bin that waste piece. Now, again, I want just about the same length as the deer hair I've tied in. Just going to catch that in, like so, and then I'm going to use my scissors. I'm not going to cut it, just going to use the blade to get that raggedy, raggedy end, that sort of taper into the, into the fly. And that's sitting not too bad. And then a bit more coastal deer here. Now what I noticed about uh, Howard's tying is he didn't bother with the hair stacker, which uh, I quite like using the hair stacker. I think you, you just get it a little bit more neater, but you know, Howard's concerned with catching fish rather than uh, tying a neat fly, I would think. So what I'm taking is about a centimetre of deer hair here and I'm going to try and do it similar to how Howard's done his. Take the deer hair off. I'm still going to strip it out as you would normally with my comb. Uh, like so. And then, to be fair, it has it has lined up not bad. Any rogue fibres, you can just pull out. There's one there, just. And then lay it up, like so. Once you're happy, you've got the length right, you can come in with your scissors and cut away your waist. Now, I'm going to do this over my waste basket so my wife doesn't wake up in the morning and go absolutely mental. <laughs> so, I'm going to lay that on. Cut ends well back from the eye of the hook. Get one turn in. And once you've got a couple of turns in, you can tighten up on that and just come through your cut ends. Like so. Now, I've given that a good tidy up at the front. And that's looking not too bad. Okay, so to finish the fly off, Herd would come in with a little darker dubbin just at the front here. Now, I want to tie this fly up uh, to be used as a dual fly as well. Not only that, my old eyes, when a fly hits the water, I find it quite difficult to locate it. So I'm going to use some pink aero wing at the front, which just helps me pick it up in the water as soon as it lands. So I've just taken off about an inch of aero wing and I'm going to catch that in just like that a couple of turns and I can bring that up and over and get another couple of turns in just locking that into place and obviously don't want all that aero wing you just need a little glimmer of hope so that I can see it on the water like so and there we go now I'm less concerned about speed uh, when tying I'm more concerned about the fly looking right for me I think if you've got a, a nice looking fly you're confident that it's going to fish well so rather than just noodling on uh, the dubbin I like to create a dubbin loop and just let me show you the packet. I'm using some uh, Mad Rabbit Plus. This is a black pepper from Troutline. I've got a little bit out of the packet ready to fill my dubbing loop. 
and while I've been wittering on the old uh, Ultimate Tine Silk split lovely for me it does split very easily and I'm just going to take some of that and feed it in you don't need a great deal some's trying to sneak in there at the bottom then spin it up and very obviously I've got far too much on here but that's not a problem once it's spun up you can simply come in with your fingers and remove some now this this stage is probably not essential but I just think you get a better looking fly and uh, I'll put the crash helmet on for all the people that say oh you just need to dub it on you just need to dub it on you're wasting your time well, I've got plenty of time, or have I? I'm not getting any younger. So, before I come round with this, I'm going to use some super glue. Just keep that spinning. And this just helps hold it into place. Just get that on where you've created your, your bump at the front. Try and pull everything back out of the way. And then you can come around like so. And that finishes the fly off. Now, before I uh, whip finish, I'm just going to add a spot of super glue. Now, if you haven't caught Howard's. Um, video about the retirer I would recommend that you give it a watch it's uh, really interesting how Davy Parker came up with a pattern and it was during the European Championships but if you want to hear the full story check out Herd's video great watch and obviously the boy knows what he's talking about unlike me waffling on there we go now, I would treat that with some floating just on the wing and then it would go into the dry fly box once it had um, set sort of thing. Now, I fished with these just the other day and they did work a treat. Did they work any better than what I usually use? I'm not sure, but um, I'm very pleased with it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please think about clicking that button in the corner there. I would really appreciate your support.